So now you have to know about one important virus and that is known as Nipah virus. Now the reason why it is considered to be important is because this is something that has caused quite a scare uh, you know with the recent number of cases. Now five important things that you have to know about Nipah virus when it comes to the exam. Now this belongs to the family Paramyxoviridae. So this is the family that it belongs to and always remember this is considered to be a pleomorphic virus. It contains single stranded RNA and there are two important things that you have to remember when it comes to the structure. It is the glycoprotein and the fusion protein which is responsible to bind to host cell. So this is the first important point that you have to remember when it comes to Nipah virus that it belongs to paramyxoviridae and it's a pleomorphic single stranded RNA virus. Now what are the other things that you have to know about Nipah virus? The first case of Nipah virus was detected in or was discovered in 1998 in a village called Nipah. So Nipah is actually the name of the village where it was first discovered and this was in Malaysia. Now, when it comes to India, the first case was detected in 2001 and that was in West Bengal. So, Siliguri in West Bengal is where the first case was detected. So, that is the second important point that you have to remember. Every now and then we've been having outbreaks like this and many of which has uh, happened in India, in Bangladesh and in certain countries like Malaysia as well. Now, one of the reasons why you've had a lot of these outbreaks is also because of the occupation. So, we do have a lot of uh, people who thrive on, uh, you know, anything that is related to palm trees. Now, this is considered to be a bat transmitting pathogen. Now, it is a bat transmitting pathogen because... It is transmitted by or the reservoir is nothing but what is known as your flying fox bats. So flying fox bats or your fruit bats are in fact the one that are considered to be the reservoir. So always remember that's the reason why it is very important to know that this is being transmitted by bats. Now coming to transmission, if you can see in this particular picture, it is it was first seen in Malaysia. It was misdiagnosed as Japanese encephalitis because it was seen in a bunch of uh, people who were doing pig farming. So the reason here was then found out that this was because pigs had actually consumed bad bitten uh, fruits. Now these bad bitten fruits have been in infected by your Nipah virus and that's the reason why your pigs here acted as your intermediate host. So the first outbreak that had happened in Malaysia was after it was from a group of uh, you know people who were employed in pig farming. For a big part of time this was considered to be Japanese encephalitis but then it turned out that this was actually Nipah virus. Now the second instance was the, of transmission is also because of uh, you know the sap that is collected from uh, palm fruit. The third is because of the fact that you know you you have it nosocomially transmitted once a patient acquires the infection by either of the root. So we tend to see a lot of nosocomial spread many of the times even before diagnosis uh, the patient comes in contact with a lot of other people. Now this is responsible for causing fatal encephalitis. So the mortality is very high. So, fatal encephalitis with high mortality. So, this is one important feature that you tend to see. Now, when it comes to diagnosis, it basically relies highly on molecular methods of diagnosis. So, in cases of high clinical suspicion, molecular methods that is with PCR is the best modality for diagnostics. And coming to treatment, there is very limited uh, options that you have. But one drug which has showed some promise is ribavirin. 
So ribavirin is considered to be one drug which is found to be effective along with acyclovir. In fact, this was first used for treatment in, uh, you know, when there was an outbreak. Now, this is the important five points that you have to remember about Nipah virus.